Welcome back. On the first day of Black History Month, students at historically black colleges and universities from Florida to the nation's capital woke up to bomb threats. Schools were temporarily put on lockdown until an all clear was given. Natalie Brand has more details for us. Police with bomb sniffing dogs patrolled the campus of Edward Waters University in Jacksonville, Florida early Tuesday morning. It's one of more than a dozen historically black colleges and universities or HBCUs across several states to receive a bomb threat in the past two days. At Morgan State University in Baltimore, freshman Anijah Johnson woke up to the threat, noting the significance of the timing. I'm just thinking. Wow, this is crazy, like on the first day of Black History Month. Johnson's in-person classes were canceled. She's had to stay in her dorm room while the campus is searched. I hope they find out who's doing it, if it's multiple people. I hope they find out why they did it. Here in Washington, D.C., Howard University is dealing with the second threat in two days, putting the campus on edge once again. It's a, a very evil uh, act. We are reminded, though, that Howard University is an exceptionally resilient community. Howard University's executive vice president, Dr. Tashni Ann DeBroy, has confidence in the law enforcement investigation. Based on the evidence that we have collected so far and uh, the cooperation that we're seeing from all of the police chiefs at our sister HBCUs, um, we think that we're on a good path uh, to finding out exactly who this person is and uh, their location as well. The Department of Homeland Security says it's coordinating with federal, state and local agencies and the FBI says it's working with its partners to address any potential threats. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington.